Okay, so good day class. I am again Mom Arian Bueno and I'm going to discuss with you about the psalm and product of the roots of quadratic equation. In the past few days, we have already discussed how to solve quadratic equation using four different methods, which is um, extracting square root, factoring, completing the square, and using quadratic formula. So today, we are going to have sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation. And for us to begin with, let us have the objectives. We need to learn how to solve for the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. And let us have this activity. We need to complete the table. So before we have the discussion, let us complete first this table. So we are going to get the two values of x or the roots. We are going to get the sum of those roots and we are also going to get the product of it. Okay, so let us have equation number 1. x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. As you can see, the equation is factorable, so we can use factoring. So using that method, we can come up with negative 1 and negative 4. And for us to fill in the third column, we need to add the two roots. So negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. And then multiply negative 1 by negative 4, we are going to have positive 4. Okay, number 2 x squared minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. Since the equation is also factorable, we can also use, again, factoring. So using that method, we can come up with positive 9 and negative 3. So 9 plus negative 3, that is positive 6. And then 9 times negative 3, we have negative 27. Number 3, x squared minus 25 is is equal to zero we can use extracting square root for this kind of equation so we just need to transpose negative 25 to the right side of the equation and then extract both sides of the equation so we can come up with positive 5 and negative 5 and then if we are going to add 5 and negative 5 that would be zero and then 5 times negative 5 that is negative 25. Number 4. x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to 0. Again, we can use factoring for this. So we have negative 5 and another negative 5. So negative 5 plus negative 5, that is negative 10. And then negative 5 times negative 5, that is positive 25. Okay, so let us have number 5. 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Kapag nakita natin na yung equation ay hindi kayang i-factor or hindi siya factorable, gamit tayo ng quadratic formula. Okay, so using quadratic formula, we can come up with 3 and negative 1 half. If we are going to add 3 and negative 1 half, we are going to have 5 over 2. And then 3 times negative 1 half, that is negative 2 over 2. Okay, so bakit ba natin kunit-reto yung table? Malalaman ko natin later on. Okay, so we are going to discuss about sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation. Given the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus b is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a must not be equal to 0, the following are the principles regarding its roots x sub 1 and x sub 2. So letter A. The sum of the roots is the additive inverse of the quotient of the coefficients b and a denoted by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. So later on, we are going to use that formula para sa sum of the roots. So kapag sinabing sum of the roots, ang gagamitin natin formula is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. And then letter B, the product of the roots is the quotient of the coefficient C and A denoted by x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to C over A. So again, kapag sum, that is negative B over A. Kapag product, that is C over A. Number 1, we need to find the sum and product of the roots of x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So given that equation, we need to do the first step which is identify the values of a, b, and c. So, kukunin po muna natin yung values ng a, b, and c 
galing dun sa quadratic equation. So, we have A equals 1, B equals 5, and C equals 4. And then, second step, we need to substitute the values of A, B, and C to the formula. So, yung values ng A, B, and C, ilalagay lang natin dun sa formula, which is yung formula ng sum and product. So, for the sum, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. So, palitan lang natin yung value ng b, which is 5, and then yung value ng a, which is 1. So, we are going to have negative 5 over 1. And then, negative 5 divided by 1, that would be negative 5. So, we have now the sum of the roots. Next, how about the product? So, using the formula, we have x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. Same process, substitute lang natin yung value ng c, which is 4, and then value ng a, which is 1. So, 4 divided by 1, that is positive 4. So, bakit natin kinukuha yung sum of the roots and product of the roots? Kapag nakuha na natin yung values ng x, dun sa equation, kapag piniplus natin yung mga values ng x na yun, ang lalabas po is negative 5, at kapag pinag-multiply natin yung dalawang values ng x, ang lalabas po doon ay positive 4. So, yung sum and product of the roots, kahit hindi pa nakukuha yung values ng x, alam na natin na kapag pinag-plus yung dalawang values ng x, negative 5 ang lalabas. At kapag pinag-times, positive 4. So, paano natin masusure na tama yung formula? We are going to do the checking. So, using checking, we need to copy the given equation. And then, since it is factorable, we need to factor it. So, we are going to have x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then, using zero product property, paghiwalayin lang natin yung dalawang factors, parehas natin i-equate into 0. And then, transpose 4 and 1 to the right side of the equation, we are going to have negative 4 and negative 1. So, yan na po yung values ng Para ma-sure natin na tama yung sum and product, ipag-add natin yung dalawang values ng x. So, negative 4 plus negative 1, that is negative 5. So, correct. And then, product, negative 4 times negative 1, that is positive 4. So, without solving for the values of x, malalaman na natin agad yung sum and product of the roots by using the formula. Okay, so let us have example number 2. Using the concept of the sum and product of roots, form the quadratic equation whose roots are 5 and 2. So unlike sa number 1, ang given is equation. So number 2, ang given is value ng x. Okay, so let us have the first step. Get the sum and product of the roots. So we are just going to get the sum and product of the roots. Since ang given ay values ng x, ipagpa-plus lang natin sila at ipag-multiply. So, the sum is 5 plus 2, that is 7. And then the product, 5 times 2, that is 10. Okay, and then follow the equation form. x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to 0. So, yung linear term, yung b over a, papalitan lang natin ng sum. And then yung constant term, C over A, papalitan lang natin ng product. Kaya lang, ang different, kapag sum, nababago po yung sign. So, kung positive yung sum, magiging negative sa equation. Kung negative yung sum, magiging positive sa equation. Pero yung product, kung ano yung sign niya, yun lang yung kinakopya natin. So, let us substitute. So, we are going to have x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so let us have example number 3. Mang Kevin owns a rectangular lot. The perimeter of the lot is 90 meters and the area is 450 square meters. What is the dimension of the rectangular lot? So, alamin muna natin yung mga steps in problem solving. So, letter A, we need to identify what is asked. Ano ba yung pinatanong dun sa problem? So, that is, what is the dimension of rectangular lot? And then, next, identify the given. So, we have the perimeter which is 90 meter and the area which is 450 square meter and since we have the question and the given we can be able to have the solution so since ang lot ni Mang Kevin ay rectangular we're going to use the formula of the perimeter and the area of rectangle so we're going to use 
2 times length plus width and then area we have length times width okay so that is the solution I'm going Then, we need to eliminate 2. So, para matanggal yun, divide natin both sides. So, since we divide both sides by 2, we can cancel it out. Or 2 divided by 2, yun nilalagay. And then, 90 divided by 2, 45 equals, yung naiwan na lang yun, sa right hand. Gagamitin natin ito later. So, since L plus W is linear, ang operation natin ay addition. So, ang tawag natin doon is sum. Next, let us use the formula for the area of rectangle. So, we have A is equal to L times W or length times width. So, yung area, sabi sa problem, 40 or 450 square meters. So, yung A, palitan natin ng 400 equals yung formula 20 times 20. So, since ito na po, we are going to use the formula. So, yung length times width, ang operation niya is equal to A. That's why yung formula, ang tawag natin dito is product. So, we are going to use sum and product. gamit natin na formula ay negative 2 over 3 at sa product ay C over A we are going to use now the equation this is where plus B over C squared plus C over A equals to C where A yung sum natin na And yung product ng 400 meters is dun sa A. So, we have X squared. Since ang B over A natin, And then for us to get the value of x, tuloy natin yung solve. So we have x minus 30 equals to 0. Maghiwalayin lang natin yung dalawang factor by 0. 
zero product one, and then x minus two is one zero. So if we are going to transpose negative thirty to the other side, it will become positive thirty. And negative fifteen, pag nilipat natin or transpose, it will become positive fifteen. So we now have so, kung alin ang mas mataas na value ng x, that will be the base. Then, yung mas mababa, that will be the base. Okay, so let us try to answer this again. The perimeter of a rectangular metal plate is 30 centimeters and its area is 80 square centimeters. Find its dimension. So, obviously, halos katulad lang ng example problem natin. So, we could answer this again. So, first, let us identify what is so, we need to find its dimension and then identify the given. So, the given are 36 decimeter in perimeter and 80 square decimeter in area. So, for us to get the solution, we need to use the formula for perimeter and formula for area of rectangle. Okay, so we have perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W or 2 times L. And then substitution, yung 36, palitan lang natin. Ipalit lang natin doon sa P. Equals 2 times L plus V. We need to eliminate 2. So we need to divide both sides by 2. So we could come up with 18 is equal to L plus W. So we can consider it as the sum. And then next, area. We have length times width. So palitan lang natin si area ng 18. So, we have 80 equals L times width. So, that would be the product. After getting the sum and product. So, bakit sum and product? Kasi kapag pinagpunas natin sa length plus width, ang lalabas po is 80. And then, kapag pinagtimes natin sa length times width, ang lalabas po is 80. Okay. So, we need to get the value of L and W. Okay. So, we need to substitute the sum and product to the equation. X squared plus B over AX plus C over AC. To zero. Since alam natin na yung V over A, ang ipapalit natin dun ay yung sum, and then yung C over A, ang ipapalit natin dun is yung product, palitan natin sila ng, or isubstitute natin yung mga values na yun dun sa equation. So we have x squared minus 18x plus 80 is equal to 0. And then by factoring, we are able to get x minus 10 multiplied by x minus 8 is equal to 0. And then zero product property, we can um, equate the two factors in zero, we can come up with positive 10 and positive 8. Kung ano yung mas mataas na number, yun yung length. Kung ano yung mas mababang number, yun yung width. Okay, so the length of a rectangular metal plate is 10 decimeters and the width is 8 decimeters. So as you can see, kapag pinag-plus natin si 10 at si 8, ang lalabas is 80. Kapag pinag-times natin si 10 at si 8, that would be Pero since yung perimeter natin is 36, kailangan natin ma-prove na 36 yung perimeter na lalabas. Since ito po ay length plus width lang, we need to multiply it by 2. So 2 times yung value ng length and width, which is 10 and 8, so ang lalabas po is 36. Meaning, our answer is Is everything clear so far? Kung malinaw po, then try to answer these three questions. Okay. And see your Google Classroom for your classroom. Thank you for joining today's class. Again, I'm Mom Arian Blenner. Thank you for listening. Bye.